movies are beautiful. But in today's video, I want to tell you all about what I consider to be the most beautiful movie ever made, 1988's Cinema Paradiso. Now, is it a bit cheaty to choose a movie about movies when talking about the most beautiful movie ever? Sure, but I'd argue that the movie's inherent beauty is because it's about the very medium that you're watching. In other words, while there are hundreds of films that are visually or emotionally or musically beautiful, there is only one like Cinema Paradiso, whose beauty circles around celebrating the exact thing you're watching. Take it this way. If you're an animal lover or a strict reader of Ralph Waldo Emerson, you might consider Life of Pi to be the most beautiful movie of all time. If you're a fan of fables and mythology, then perhaps you'd say it's the fall. But if you're a fan of movies, and I say confidently that you are if you're watching this video, then Cinema Paradiso will strike a chord within you that is simply unmatched, unbeaten, and unforgettable. The movie is simple. A young boy named Salvatore, nicknamed Toto, lives in war-torn Sicily. Constantly bombarded by the brutality of war, his only escape is in the local movie house, the Cinema Paradiso. The projectionist there, Alfredo, befriends Toto and instills a deep love of movies into him. Without going into spoilers, the movie follows Toto's entire life and how he keeps going back to that small theater in Sicily, and it culminates in what I can only describe as the most moving scene in the entire history of film. Huge claim, but I truly, truly mean that. You should know that there are two cuts of Cinema Paradiso, and I go back and forth on which version is better. The main version you'll find is 124 minutes, but there's also a 155 minute director's cut, which I know can be found on the Arrow Academy Blu-ray. Given the option, I think you should watch the director's cut, just because it gives you a more cyclical, complete story. But for your first viewing, just watch the two-hour version. It's still a masterpiece, and if you love it as much as I do, then now you have an extended version to look forward to. So what makes the movie so spectacular? Well, it's a timeless coming-of-age story, but the twist is that Toto may as well be coming of age without any parents. Well, he's not technically an orphan, his mother is a war widow, and he spends little time with her. So the older Alfredo becomes his father figure, and arguably, the movies Toto watches with Alfredo becomes his metaphorical mother. They watch dozens of movies, everything from John Wayne to Charlie Chaplin, and the lessons Toto learns from the movie inspire his entire life choices. I think that's a beautiful message, that good movies have the ability to shape our lives, and it's doubly beautiful that in this movie, our young protagonist finds these movies through his foil, a gentle and lonely older man. Their relationship is the heart that makes the movie's message soar. But what makes that heart beat faster still is Cinema Paradiso's score. For my money, it's the greatest score ever put to film, and it's by the medium's greatest composer, Ennio Morricone. You probably know a handful of scores even if you don't know that you do, but trust me, Cinema Paradiso is easily his best work. And it's not just the score, or characters, or themes of Cinema Paradiso that make it so beautiful. No, this movie fires on all cylinders. The way the movie is shot, the way the sets are built or torn down, the framing of the movie and its nostalgic, melancholic manner, everything here just works. As I said before, the movie may not be quite as impactful if you aren't a massive lover of movies, but if you are, then I think you'll have no issue with me saying that Cinema Paradiso is the most beautiful movie ever made. If you want more movie recommendations, watch my video on the scariest movie ever made. And if you want to know what to avoid, check out my worst franchise ever made video too. And until the next time, I'll see you at the movies.